The Big Eye, brought to you by the Lexus December to Remember sales event. Now for a limited time at your Lexus dealer. Terminator, underneath it's a hyper-alloy combat test. Microprocessor controlled, fully armored, very tough, but outside it's living human tissue. We cannot make things like that yet. Not yet, not for about 40 years. Not for about 40 years. That was 1984. That was a Terminator. In today's Big Eye, science is taking a lesson from the big screen. Researchers are working on a material that can do what the cyborg assassin, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, was able to do in that movie. A material that can sense danger, diagnose problems, and heal itself through self-regeneration. Joining me now, Henry Sodano. He's an associate professor at Arizona State University who is bringing a little science fiction into reality. Henry, good to see you. Thanks very much. Was that really the inspiration or, uh, or something else the inspiration for a self-healing material? Yeah, so basically we wanted to try to create uh, a material that acted like our, our body does to damage, and, and specifically our bone. And so what we wanted to do is create something that could sense damage like bone does, uh, respond to try to stop its propagation as bone does, and then also uh, subsequently heal itself and return it back to its original configuration and obtain all of its uh, uh, properties that it had before. Let's talk about this material that you've, you've developed. I want to show our viewers some video of this thing. And first, I want, to, I want the viewers to understand there's, that there's already a rip in this material. It's not a rip. That's, that's the way it's supposed to be. And then you can see... This just keeps repeating itself, but basically the way you see it now in the, in the blue is the way it is in its normal state. Now watch what happens. You'll see the rip come, and then you'll see, uh, there you go, you see that rip. See how it rips on the right side of the screen, and then it heals itself. Explain to me how this works. Okay, so what we're doing is we're using um, a fiber optic network, and this fiber optic network is distributed throughout the material, and as this crack propagates through the uh, polymer in this case, it's a shape memory polymer, uh, as it propagates through the polymer, it fractures a fiber optic, and, and that signals this damage is in the, the structure. Um, that fractured location actually provides us a mechanism to deliver uh, photothermal energy which is the light leaking out of the fiber optic directly into the material and this causes a local heating and so this shape memory polymer has the ability to uh, remember its original shape and so as this crack moves through it's deforming the material and uh, once we apply this photothermal energy and heat the material locally it causes it to uh, revert back to its original shape and so this healing mechanism is inherent to that material and as we uh, elevate its temperature it actually brings it back and returns it to its original configuration and so what you see in that image is, is the uh, damaged structure, so this crack, and then us heating it and it actually recovering. And, and when it's that entire purple color, that's showing that it's recovered 100% of its original shape. And so there's no more deformation left. What is that? What would that be? Is this a, a material that you wear as clothing? Is it something we put on our cars? Is it something that goes on windows? What is it? So this is a, a polymer material, and you know, polymers are used to make a, a variety of different um, applications and different materials. Um, particularly, I was approaching it as uh, composite materials, fiber-reinforced composites, such as fiberglass or carbon fiber, where you have a fiber embedded in this polymer. And uh, what we were looking at is trying to find a way to cause a material to heal that we might not have access to. Well, when you so say, you a, when you say a satellites carbon fiber type, are you talking about a bicycle? Are you talking about a car? Are you talking about clothing? Uh, not clothing, uh, mostly structural applications. So it could be a bicycle, it could be uh, civil infrastructure, it could be an aircraft. Um, it could be a lot of different um, materials. It, it's simply a structural material right. that, that can regenerate itself and, and correct this uh, and, and keep uh, avoid catastrophic failures, basically what we're that after. Remarkable. I love it. Henry, thanks very much for joining us and telling us a little bit about this. We'll, uh, we'll stay on top of it with you. Thank you very much. All right, for more on information on the self-help healing material, check out my blog, cnn.com slash alley. Okay, let me bring you up to speed with some of the latest developments uh, that we're following here. Thousands of angry students are protesting a plan just approved by the British Parliament that could triple their tuition. They're concerned that they'll be priced out of an education. Lawmakers are looking for ways to reduce that country's massive deficit. House Democrats have voted to not bring up the president's tax deal. That package was a negotiation between President Obama and Republicans. After the vote, the White House said it...